Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Weaving Tides. Last time we left off, we met the king and got invited to his study. So, how about we explore the study a little bit? How about we explore the study a little bit? I see some stairs, but you're not going to let me go up there because you're a jerk. What do you got to say, Dad? Sure is an impressive collection. Compared to this, the scrolls we had back home are nothing. Yeah, I mean, he is an emperor. So he's probably got a fair bit of thing, fair few things. Bunch of books are piled on top of a wrinkled page. Not exactly the most careful way to flatten it. Pages seem to be part of an interview with a brilliant scholar named Anne H. Oof. Most of it sounds very technical. A concept to design an artificial life form. This could allow us not only to copy what already exists, but imbue it with unparalleled powers of creation. In the right hands, it could pave the way towards universal peace. I don't even understand half of it, but the old one sure set some lofty goals. Interesting. Artificial life. They're trying to create Mewtwo, huh? A little note hangs from the books in this section. Hello, you and I probably don't know each other, but I just wanted to let you know that you are amazing. Love, Kale. Oh, how nice. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> Leave random notes for people that tell them you love them. The section seems to be filled with history books. The most recent one talks about technological advancements, shifting climate zones, exploitations of natural resources, and war. They fought each other despite being of the same kin. Didn't they have any other options? Yeah... Let's see, this book has a beautiful red cover and gilded edges. The text is written in an ornate font. Love remains. Memories grow and memories fade. Details may blur, but love still remains. Friendships grow, but then friends must go. Distance may grow, but love still remains. Family defines us, yet we must say farewell. May be physically gone, but love still remains. Tears of hate fall down, but love will build up. The hate will fail, but love still remains. Let love shape you, form you, compose every thread. When love is the weaver, never forget. Forever, love remains. It seems to be filled with poems about different kinds of love and the hardships which come with it. Maybe the old ones weren't so different from us. Yeah, except the fact that we're, that, like you said, we're ignoring climate change and we fight each other for no reason and stuff. Book cover has a small packet, pocket attached to it. A picture has been carefully tucked inside. It shows two people, arm in arm, smiling happily. The back of the picture reads, Amy, my love, your birthday is here and it's time to cheer. Remember, I will always love you, my dear. My dad also throws great birthday parties, although it's actually the day he found me, not my real birthday. It's his gotcha day. That's what my girlfriend calls the day when you actually adopted a pet. The gotcha day. This book is very thin and has fewer pages than most, but they are all covered with colorful images. The scholars have already translated a short paragraph. Osning greets his friends from the regular's table, the riding bulls and his charming, capable wife. May the year ahead hold many positive things. Good health, satisfaction, a job, success, and fast internet. <laughs> God. Isn't that something we all want? No matter whether regional, international, or digital, we can do it. So many phrases I don't understand. I wish I knew how much time had passed since this message was written. These are interesting. Darn it. Please don't interrupt me again. I'm trying to piece this torn manuscript together. The ancient paper is highly sensitive and must be handled with the utmost care. Mm-hmm. And... I can talk to you. This note doesn't look like a translation. I think it's an original work by a librarian. Through the darkest of nights and across the sands of time, I will search for you until we can soar as one in the endless fields of sky again once more. How poetic. Interesting, interesting. So... There's a lot of stuff to examine in here. A small blue notebook. The cover is decorated with a variety of pressed flowers. It's the first time I've ever seen any of them. One of the notes within simply states, Flo, Tinny, Blackie, and Xena are the best. Renate. Interesting. This book hasn't been translated yet. The author is credited as Ruth Irene. The back of the cover is full of cracks, as though it's been read over and over again. Must be a great story. I imagine a lot of these are a bunch of references that I don't get. In this library, we guard and translate scriptures gathered from the realms beyond the sheets of the depth. It's largely thanks to the knowledge from these texts that our empire has been able to develop at such a rapid pace. But you guys are still an empire, which usually means that you conquered other people, which I don't like. A lot of the books in this section have different colored markers on them. The colors seem to indicate the order in which the books got translated. 
or get translated. It's just a huge row of similar looking books. But this one is particularly worn as if well loved and read over and over again. The small scribble in the corner, it reads Werner plus Sabine forever. Could this have been a gift or the confession of some secret love? That is the question when you're looking at old literature and stuff like this. Like when you when you get when you uh, get a book from the library and someone's written in it. This book has a letter wedged between the pages. How convenient! The librarians have already translated it. I want this for you, mother. We've been with each other through so much. Words cannot easily describe how much it means to me that we've made it this far. Our home has changed for the better in these last three years. It's hard to believe how much progress we've made. And not just our home. Our family is closer together, even from afar. The years ahead are scary to say the least, but as long as we continue to take it one step at a time, I know we can make it through. Much love always, Rachel. Hmm, one step at a time. Still a step forward if you ask me. I wonder, did they make it through those years? I want to believe they did. A small piece of paper, folded in the shape of a heart, is resting on a row of books. There's a note in it. You are always thought of in a very special way, and I wish good things to you to come to you today and every day after. The librarians leave these uplifting messages for one another? Yeah, that is the question, isn't it? There do seem to be a lot of them. A lot of our research points towards the possibility that the sheets of the depth were the first layer of the world created by D. If I could head down there, I'd be able to conduct much more precise research. Fortunately, the area is highly dangerous and strictly regulated by His Majesty himself. So that's probably our next area, right? If I had to guess. Okay, nothing over here. Ooh. Cover describes this book as a detective story. Oh, there's a note. Maybe a hint to the conclusion of the story. It mentions a parking lot? Curious. Now I wish I had time to read the full story. These must all be references I don't know, right? Hey, this book actually has a lot of pictures in it. So that's what other human children must look like. They're having a lot of fun. Don't let anything get you down. Be cheeky, wild, and wonderful. I'll gladly take that to heart. Many of these books look like they've been through a lot. The small one is looking worse for wear. All the pages are creased and smeared. Only the signed dedication on the inside of the cover is still legible. Liz, you're awesome, amazing, and really great. Matthew. It's good that not all of this book was lost. Miss Aliana, more books and precious artifacts have gone missing lately. We need to tell the Emperor about this matter. Only if you've got a death wish, you must not find out under any circumstance. Just shift some of the older artifacts around and- Oh, hello, young man. I didn't see you there. Hi. <laughs> ah, Tass. I need to check if the palace guard has kept everything in order in my absence. I fear if I don't write down their instructions in minute detail, everything will end up in disarray just like the prince's room. Now that I think about it, where could his young highness be? Okay. Whoops. I didn't press that. Oh, I think my controller came unplugged. Uh, controller, please. Work with me here. Work with me. Work with me. I'm trying to... Stupid USBs, man. Getting them in is always hard. There we go. <laughs> we haven't pet you before. What do you like? Do you like pets? Or do you like, uh, the brush? Brush, brush, brush? Brush, brush? No, you don't like that. Pat, then? Uh, whoops. Let's, let's try Pat. May, or maybe you like wings. No, you don't like that. Head wing. Pat wing? Okay, you like Pat on the wing. There we go. Pat, Pat, Pat. Pat, Pat, Pat. Good, good loose. Good loose. Who's a good crazy cloth dragon? Whoops, I didn't mean to skip that. I was mashing the A button. Damn it. I think that happened before too. Our lives, stories, our hearts, books, journals to ourselves, periodicals to others. Adventure and mystery, tragedy and comedy, fiction and documentary, well read or mistreated, we show our wear. Our pages yellow, our edges curl, our covers crack, damaged are our hopes of being read again. Yet once in a while, tattered texts are reclaimed with love, not merely by a reader, but a veritable bibliophile. Our weathered state is not seen as damage, but as experience to be treasured. Such wonderful people turn simple books into treasured tomes. It's almost as if this book has become self-aware. Well, was right, after all. A book with an elegant green cover by Patrick McCrone. Apart from the author's name, it seems like the library staff hasn't been able to translate it yet. 
Whoa, this book looks really heavy. Its title is The Five Oceans of the World. Describes oceans as large bodies of water. Hmm, how does that work? When all that water eventually seep through the fabric below? Or did the old ones have people to constantly refill the oceans, like the bathhouses in the Empire? <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, you wouldn't know how that works, do you, would you? The binding of this book is artificially sewn. It looks like a personal journal. Dear son of mine, never a day goes by that I don't think of you. The struggles that you've been through, the pain... You are strong. You have given me strength. Believe in yourself and your friends. When the March wings, winds of spring blow, I hold their warmth close to my heart, for they remind me of your vibrancy and spirits. I will never forget the memories ever since we met under the veil of the crescent moon. May the blessings of the rainbow be forever upon you. We are all under the one sky. We truly live under the same sky as they once did? And if that's true, where did they go? Every step you take on your journey, every sentence you write in the story of your life, and every link you forge with those around you becomes another part of the ever-growing being that is yourself. Every single book in this library is once part of someone's story. Once you read it, it will become a part of yours. Okay, I can't talk to you. Hmm, someone placed this book upside down. I'll give it a quick glance. Lead your natural path to find your best iteration. Build discipline to free yourself from temptation. Periodically refresh your brain by abstaining from pleasurable activities and meditating. Fast daily so your body's internal system can resume normal function and improve. Exercise to liberate joy. This will release negativity's hold on your body, mind, and spirit. Adopt these practices to grant yourself a cleansing at the cellular level. Heal yourself so that you may resonate peacefully unto others. Derek Alexander. The other pages are filled with lots of useful advice and suggestions on how to live well. Are all the other ones so disciplined? There's a lot of books here, by the way. Someone placed a stack of letters between all these books. I love you. Please stay safe. Don't forget to write, and I will see you again soon. S and E. Heartfelt note. How long is it lying here, waiting patiently to be read? And did the message ever reach its recipient? A row of books fell over. Buried below the pile is a booklet with a colorful cover picturing lots of people. Looking closer at it, none of them have wings. How did they ever come to the difficulty of getting around without them? Okay. Where do you? Many of these books look like they've been through a lot. Yeah, okay. So we've done those. I can't go through here, right? Corridor leads to the study. Continue if you feel ready to face His Highness again. No, not yet. Not yet. There's still stuff up here. Hi. Ooh, shiny little chest. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, I wish I could get that. Ooh. Lore? Probably lore. Broken rules. Perhaps a book about legal offenses? Uh, no, it's about games. Human games might be very different from the ones the Mothkin play. I'd like to try them someday. A book about people of great historic significance. The first one on this page is called Yosef Who? The surname is illegible. Seems like this one is, one is more about philosophy. The book has been opened to this page. Hypnos wove. Every moment is a loom on which we stretch the threads of our story. We are the fabric, every moment a knot. Little by little, piece by piece, an image forms. It shows our story, it reveals our patterns. At times, loose threads will stick out. Together we make a knot, or cut them off, for E from L. The old ones really were incredible. I wish I could meet them. Hypnos. Are you talking about the... the god? The underworld? Or the... whatever Hypnos is? I don't think he's a god. The page was always open and reads. One idea and a new generation was born. All in one room. What a dream. Grandma sits at the loom. Grandpa cracks nuts. Mum darns socks. Dad solves puzzles in the newspaper. The children sit on the carpet playing a game, weaving, cracking nuts, darning holes, solving puzzles, playing. Diving into a new world, all in one room. What a dream. Happy little family. I have my dad and my friends. They care for me deeply. I know I should be content, but I can't but wonder how things might have been if I had never been separated from my original family. Do you remember when we wove our hands together and became one with the stars? Became more? With just a kiss, we changed the world, the universe, a double supernova turned triple. Another starlight prince, we will mend the broken fabric of the horizon. With our fingers woven together almost as tightly as our hearts. Oh, this sounds very personal. I shouldn't peek any further. <laughs> yeah, that one sounds like a love story note thing. Oof, this book has a lot of tiny text in it. It's too much to read, so I'll just skim through. Ah, oh, there's something written at the bottom of this page. Peppers and C.O. are cutie pies. 
Along with a tiny scribble of two characters. Friends, perhaps? Hmm. I don't think this game is kickstarted. If it was, I would say this is probably a, a kickstarter area where people can put their things, but I don't think it was kickstarted. I don't know, maybe it was. But we read it all. Cool. We're here, your highness. Were you able to translate the letter? Unfortunately, it is rather old. Some parts are smudged and were hardly readable. Nevertheless, I, I was able to translate most of it. My dearest son, how beautiful this strange new world is. While it consoles me to see that not all is lost, my guilt, endless. I deprived you and so many others of their home. How presumptuous we were to strive for the divine. My punishment is righteous, but it shouldn't be you who suffers the same consequences. While my heart yearns to, you grow up in warmth and happiness. I will do necessary to protect you from harm. My res brought this tragedy upon us, so I will do my best to set things right. If I do not return, you must assume that I have failed. The... is deep down at the core of this world. Should you decide to go there, beware of God. Dark. Only face them if your intentions are pure. If you fail, you be grasped by a deep slumber. I will leave you my wristband. My father always insisted this talisman would protect its bearer. Please stay safe. I love you. Anne. My wristband? Could it really be? Now I'm even more intrigued by you. Let us proceed to how you will compensate me for my services. You didn't mention any kind of compensation before. Would you believe this was an act of sheer benevolence? You are in luck, child, as I believe the compensation you will pay is actually of great value to yourself as well. I want you to stay here in this palace and let me study you. Tass is not some specimen that can be researched. Yeah, and we won't leave him to you. You might have misunderstood my words. All of you will be guests of the royal palace and be treated with the highest respect and diligence. My servants will cater to your every need. Well, I think we don't need to hear any more arguments from your side. Perona, prepare the rooms for our guests. Wait a minute. I am thankful for your help, but we must move on. That's no longer for you to decide. Lucette, if you want to rejoin the royal court, then bring that boy to me at once. Your Highness. This is your last chance. Your deeds will be forgiven and you may resume your position as my right-hand man. Luce, I don't want to stay here. I... I, with the utmost respect, your highness, Tass has made his decision. I shouldn't have expected anything from the likes of you. You will rege regret rejecting my benevolence. Guards, seize them! What an ass! I mean, he's an emperor, so it's kinda comes with the territory. But whatever. Now we gotta break out, I guess? The palace dungeon. Well, I certainly don't see a way to get out of here. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Where am I? The place where the Emperor stows away all his disobedient toys. Here, catch. It's the master key for the cells. Thank you, but why? Thought I'd mix it up a bit and do the right thing for the right reasons. And a word of advice, don't get caught again. See ya. Who are you? What? Okay, so I can probably free um, someone else now, too. Ooh, treasure. How do I get in there? Oh, this way. What you got for me? Thank you kindly. Violet Pulsing Ribbon. Cool, cool. There's some stuff over there. Can I not get over there, though? Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can get in there right now. Unless it's... Oh, it's this. Yeah, okay, I see. It was just three, though. Is that even worth it? Not really. Uh, huh. Oh, is this the stealth section? It is. This is definitely a stealth section. Weird. Okay, well, we're doing pretty well. At least it's not a hard stealth section. 
And they, we, at least they were kind enough to give me checkpoints. That is nice of them. Then it, these uh, threads kind of mark out where you're supposed to go. Which is definitely useful. Luckily these weird dogs have no peripheral vision whatsoever. That definitely makes this whole process a little bit easier. Because if they could see to the left or right of them, they would have seen me by now. Haha, <laughs> stupid dogs. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. I miss Courage the Cowardly Dog, that was a good show. Oh boy. Oh! You thought you had us fooled. Whoops. Okay, so am I just supposed to run? Okay, I barely made it. Was this the way I was supposed to go? Treasure over there. Um, getting that thread essence seems a little spooky. Oh god. Just run. Okay, running works, surprisingly. It actually works very well. I can just run away from the dogs. Okay, interesting. Fortunately, this time they're coming straight at me. Okay. Did it. What do you got for me? Was this optional? Cool, this was optional. I was hoping I went the optional way first. The blue candy ribbon. Now we just gotta get back uh, up here. There we go. Cool, another checkpoint. This reminds me of uh, sneaking through Hyrule Castle. Oh no. Okay, we're good, we're good. The thing saw me, but we're, we're fine. I didn't think it would be able to walk through the treasure chest, but sure enough, it just strolled right through that bad boy. Alright. Well, we're making progress. Okay, now it's actually Hyrule Castle. Do you guys have peripheral vision? Oh, I can hide in the pots. Cool. Yeah, we, we hid in the pot that one time, and I was like, what is what is this? What is, what's going to happen with this mechanic? Hiding in a pot. I don't really need to hide in the pots, to be fair. I can kind of just walk right behind these guys, and they don't see me. Alright, well this isn't so bad, but I'm sure the pots will be needed later. Okay, cool. Can't walk that way. Okay, lots of dogs. Lots and lots of dogs. I want that thread essence. That's five. That's big boy money. Ah. Stop, there's nowhere to run. Damn you. Uh huh. Huh. Did it. Got out of there before you saw me. Huh. Yeah. Here we go. Open this up. What do we got? Bunch more thread essence. Well, I'll be able to buy a bunch of uh, stuff soon. So that's neat. Oh god. Okay. We're good. Haha. -ha. Can't see me over here. Not through this very easy to see me through thing. Shouldn't these dogs have good noses too? I guess they don't really have noses. Some kind of weird freakish dog. Cool, now I can bust everyone out. Tess. Oh, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. Get us out of here. I can't stand being in this boring cell any longer. We offered to tell you about one of my many astounding accomplishments to pass the time, but you refused. Ah, thanks. I'm already bored beyond my limits with you, without you endless blabbering. Tess, do something, please. It's okay, it's okay. We can break out. I have a key. Yes, jailbreak. Shush, don't alert the guards. Hmm, there's another problem. We'll stick out too much if we move as a group. You're not wrong. It was already tricky getting here on my own. We need to come up with a plan. Come on, everyone, use your heads. Yeah, let's just headbutt them. Ah, oh, I guess you get a pass. Our best bet is to sneak out individually, surround the guards, and tackle them all at once. We just need some kind of sign. If memory serves, there is a weaver shrine in one of the chambers close to the exit. We can use that. Tess, sneak over to the Weaver Shrine. We'll get into position in the meantime. Alright, when I use the flute, that's your sign to strike. 
You got it. Good luck, my friend. We'll be there for you. Alright, cool. So, I gotta get to the Weaver Shrine. Gotta get to the Weaver Shrine. You said it was at the end over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Haha! -ha! Oh, jeez. Doggo's going that way. Get in the pot. Uh, this is gonna be a little spooky, actually. Ugh. Alert all guards on duty. A prisoner's on the run. Damn it. I got a little bit too ballsy there. Uh. No, you don't see me. I'm in the pot. Ha ha. Idiot. Uh. Uh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I freaked out. I freaked out, but we're good. Okay, let's wait for this dog to do another round here. Okay. What? Don't move. Oh, wait. Oh, they have... Oh, they have good line of sight. They have really good line of sight, actually. That's scary. You're much more problematic than the dogs. To deal with. Uh-huh. Yes. Alright, we're good. Uh-huh. Turn around again, please. Got it. Okay, now we just wait for you to go by. Ooh, yeah, I got I got ballsy there. I got ballsy, I'll admit it. Jumped the gun a bit on that one, but we made it. Boom. Did you hear that noise? What is happening? What? Yeah. <laughs> we did it. We got them all neatly wrapped up. Serves them right. Now, let's go. Yay! Treasure, treasure, treasure. Uh, black ribbon. Simple black ribbon. And a pin, yes! Another one of these, yes, that's the final one too. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, cursed. Double dash after performing a long stitch. Dash in fast succession. Stitching moves. And slightly greater speed. I'm gonna put that one on. Fast dashes. Seems good to me. So can we go this way? We can. Cool. Alright, so this is the way we're supposed to go, I suppose. Oh yeah, and we can pull this now. There. Uh-huh. Is there a reason to be doing three strings of fate together is one. Three strings of fate together as one. Oh! You want me to do this? Is that it? Three strings of fate together as one, yeah. There. And then... Boom. Three strings of fate together as one. Okay, maybe not. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought that would be what I had to do, was like, tie all of you off together. Maybe right there. Right there. And right here. Hmm. This seems like some sort of puzzle. Doesn't help that that thing comes down and destroys it. I don't know, Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's just go. <clears throat> How many of the things do I have, by the way? Uh, the ribbons. Yeah, how many of those are we rocking? Definitely seems like I've missed some, but we have a pretty good amount of them. There's not actually any much, many more left. I think like there was like four? So we might be reaching the end here. That was a close call. This Emperor guy really got a, a couple of burnt threads. But more importantly, you saved us. Told you that we'd look out for each other. Right, now we'll never doubt that again. The letter, do you think this person... Yes, she could be your mother. Wherever she is, we'll need to keep heading down if we're going to get answers. To the core of the world. 
This endeavor might pose difficulties, my little friend. To my knowledge, this is the lowest layer, layer which can be reached through normal modes of travel. I don't know why I said normal instead of common. Going further down into the waste is strictly prohibited, and there is no established tidal vortex to take us there. We'll find a way somehow. Yeah, yeah, less talking, more flying. Those guards are still after us. So let's hurry things up and get away from here. Alright. Out of here. Ooh, hello. Bunch of Thread Essence hanging out over here. So is this going to take me to a new zone or something? Okay. A lot of you to murder. Die, 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 die. You know what? Stitching move. Oh, I, I can't. I should have just stunned them, but I was like, I can wrap them up. It's not hard. Uh-huh. Thank you, weird thingy. You're so good. Here we go. And boom. No, you don't. Get wrapped up. Uh-uh. Bad dog. Bad dog. I say. And bop. And bop. There we go. Hello, guys. Oh, cool. What's going on over there? I know shady people and I see them, and those guys look mighty shady. Wait, that's Salus. Hey! Oh, well, this is awkward. What are you doing down here? And what's up with all this stuff? I... Um, I'm just taking inventory with my business partners. Hmm, these artifacts look oddly similar to those in the palace. Oh yeah, the ones that were stolen. They are indeed an items from His Highness's private collection. You thieves. My, my, calm down, Lucette, dear friend. It's a pleasure to see you again, despite the circumstances. My lord, you? Out here with these scoundrels? Is your father in the know about this? Sure. Well, then I'm relieved. Of course not, Luce. We're stealing his prized possessions. Father knew he'd throw us in the darkest corner of his dungeon. My prince, I'm devastated. I thought I taught you to do the right thing. <laughs> right and wrong is just a matter of perspective. All father ever thinks about is his own riches. The fact that you just fled from his prison tells me you've also seen his malevolent side. Right, you were the one who gave me the key. Clever boy. Ah, oh, how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself yet. I am Nidus, Prince of the Mothkin Empire. First son of the deeply corrupted Emperor and an honorable scoundrel. Now tell me, how did you anger my father and end up in his dungeon? Give me all the juicy details. Tass, my bestie, just asked for help. And then the Emperor wanted to keep him like some kind of trophy. Not a surprise knowing him. I want to find others like me. Our only proper lead points to the core of the world. Unfortunately, we have no knowledge regarding how to set out on such a voyage. Now that's simply adorable. Salus, we have to help him. Huh. A little ways ahead of here, we constructed an artificial tidal vortex. Only leads to the waste, so you'll have to find this core of yours by yourself. That's already a great start. We're preparing to head there anyway. We still need to pack up, so you can fly to the east without us. We'll catch up to you. Cool. Alright, so we got our next objective. Uh, I can't shop with you. So this is the reason why you always have so many rare items for sale. Stealing is bad, you know. I'd rather call it a fair redistribution of wealth. My man. Hmm, never looked at it that way. <laughs> Seems we know each other from the palace? Right, my friend Sir Lucette of Spiral Valley, the... Which one is it today, Luce? Sir Lucette the Third. Right then, my friend Sir Lucette of Spiry Valley the Third has been my father's royal advisor and my closest confidant since childhood. Not any longer, I'm afraid. I failed as a royal advisor and lost my right to be in your service, my prince. Luce, I never saw you as a servant, but always as my dearest friend. And I owe you an apology. My shady dealings got you all into trouble. Alright, the guards mentioned something about Luce knocking out the prince. So the thief was you all along? Indeed. I deeply regret dragging you all into this. It matters not. After his highness demanded I hand over my friend Tass, I couldn't have resumed my position in good conscience. Alright, I guess we're getting out of here. We can switch weavers there, but uh, yeah, looks like the game just saved right there, so I think we'll go ahead and end this episode of Weaving Tides off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.